What is going on dudes? What we're doing today is a video of the K70 RGB by Corsair with or comparing to the Ducky One Too Many. Hopefully this video will help you out and maybe help you decide in which keyboard you want to get. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. <laughs> lame yeah 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 wow this is a hard intro i used corsair k70 for my primary uh, keyboard for quite a while both of them are really good keyboards they're both mechanical both of them currently have red switches the ducky has the silent red the corsair has the regular red both by cherry mx i'm taking this camera and i'm bringing you over here because you're gonna be looking down all right let's get it so right off the bat, there's some differences that you can already tell. You know, this is a 60% board, which is pretty much cut off right after the backspace and the enter key. Um, also, you notice that there's no F row of keys. The escape has now taken over the tilde, and all the F keys have been removed. However, there is a function button, and if you hit F2, or function 2, that would be the F2 button. You get the drill. Um, also for the delete key, function backspace that is the delete option instead of just backspace and another big one is the arrow keys however look closely see the arrow keys right there the j k l and i as long as you hold down the function button and hit the button it'll go up it'll go down and side to side so that's something to be aware of another thing to keep in mind you can look at the cable you see up top there we actually get a, a hard fixture it's you can it's non-removable you cannot remove that from the keyboard unfortunately. And also you can tell that it's a, it's a braided cable. And for the ducky, we have a USB-C connector, which is actually removable. I just take this, I can unplug it. It is replaceable. So, you know, if there ever was a moment where uh, a dog got a hold of the keyboard, shredded that, that uh, connector, it is replaceable. You can get ones that are braided just like the K70s. So some big differences between these two. Um, one thing I noticed is this. This keyboard is made of plastic. It's not uh, brushed aluminum or brushed metal like the K70 is. And the, it's fully made of plastic. There are feet at the bottom that you can pop out. Um, but it's fully plastic and it's, you know, it's pretty, still pretty durable. If we bring up this bad boy, this thing is massive, huh? But there is brushed aluminum. All of this is brushed aluminum. It's like a big old plate. Um, the underneath is plastic. Let me check in. The underneath is plastic. But all of this is all like a brushed, it's a nice brushed aluminum finish. Um, there are options to turn on and off the RGBs, which is nice, and adjust the brightness. It's that button right up there. There is an option to lock the home button, which I have not found on the ducky. Um, there also is a built-in stop and seek buttons as well as a play and pause and a mute as well as a scroll wheel. The scroll, I miss the scroll wheel a lot actually, but, uh, do not fret. That option is still on this keyboard. What you have to do, if you look closely, these buttons have uh, volume up and down. So as long as you hold the function and you tap, that's going down, that's going up. So it's still still usable, right? Also, there's only one connector for USB on the other end of this this cable. On the K70, there's actually two USBs. I'll put that clip here for you. There's two of them that you need to plug in. That's basically for the power to the keyboard and in order to power for the lights. As far as customizing the RGB lights, um, pretty much the only options that you can do is what's built into this ducky keyboard. Um, as far for the Corsair, what you can do is get a this Corsair link and uh, it, it allows you to customize exactly how you want it to be for the RGB lights. Um, it's much more user friendly. Like, for example, I have all of the lettering as well as the uh, punctuation marks. Those are all orangey color, like a red orangey color. And everything else is like a blue. It kind of looks like white on the screen, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> So you can actually individually select which keys. You can do it through here. However, it's much more time consuming. And you can save, save profiles on here, which is pretty cool. You can just kind of switch in between. So for example, this is exactly what I was just chat, talking about. Um, you can 
create it, you can have different lighting effects if you wish. Um, you can have the different opacity, so that makes it like on the keyboard, it'll go brighter and not so bright. Uh, this is what I have set. And then if I, if I want to make a new one, you can just add a new profile, profile two. And then if you want to customize it, let's go to the lighting effects. We'll add new, new lighting effect. And we get the rainbow wave. And all these different options down here. We can do a static color. We can select all of them and make them like a pink. Or let's do like a green. And then if you want like just these guys to be that color, okay. So you have your different profiles. You go back from here. So this is one we just created. You know, we can do, I'm just gonna go back to the regular. Boom. And now as you can see, the keyboard is now back to its normal profile. And both of these keyboards are using the Cherry MX red switches. The Ducky One Too Many actually has the silent red switches, so that's like a pink, pinkish color, but there's, there's much less noise uh, when you do push the key down. And then over here is the uh, Cherry MX Red. They both have a clear background in order to emit all of the, the different uh, RGBs that you do push through. One thing to note, it seems as though the keycaps on the Corsair RGB, these things aren't double shot. They do feel pretty flimsy. This is the Corsair keycap, and this is going to be the Ducky One Too Many keycap. And unfortunately, the Corsair does feel much, much cheaper. Um, it is a thinner plastic. I can actually bend it. The course, the the Ducky, I cannot. Um, so that's one thing to note if you are buying this the the Corsair RGB. The keycaps are not as high of a quality as the Ducky. And all in all, just to recap, uh, both of these keyboards, you know, they both are small for, or Ducky is small form factor, and the Ducky is actually about $60 cheaper, give or take, depending upon what you get the K74. This is the older model, um, so if you buy it online, it's actually more expensive to buy the older model because they don't make anymore. Um, but the newer ones, it may be a little bit cheaper. So. So price difference, the, the Ducky is actually about $60 cheaper than the K70 at the time of that I bought each of them. Um, the Ducky only has one USB output or, or one USB connector on the other end. The Corsair K70 does have two, one for the RGBs and one for actually powering the keyboard. And they both use Cherry MX red switches. They're both RGB. They're both mechanical keyboards. What are my thoughts on them? Um... I really enjoy both of the keyboards. They're both very, very nice. Uh, I haven't actually like gone back to use my old keyboard since I got the Ducky, so I'd be kind of curious to see how I would, how it how it would go as far as gaming wise. Um, but do I enjoy the Ducky as, as of this point? Yes. Do I miss the K70? At first, I did. Like I, I definitely do miss my number pad. Getting used to this size of keyboard. And uh, I'm really thankful that uh, I did go with it. I was looking at getting one for quite a while. I just like the, how it's much, much smaller, takes up less real estate on the desk, and gives you more of room for your mouse movements, right? And so that you're not whacking your mouse off like the side of the, the actual keyboard, which is nice. I do miss the other function buttons, the function keys, the escape key, um, as well as the number pad and the arrow keys. However, I've been the norm at this point and I've been able to find workarounds and those workarounds have become the new norm. So it's not too bad of a, uh, a, a leap, at least for me, maybe for you. That could be one reason is that, that you would not want to go with a 60% keyboard is due to the, there's no number pad. Um, you can get a t 10 keyless, which is basically wipes out the number pad, but you still keep all of your arrow keys as well as uh, a lot of the other like delete function buttons. Um, all in all, they're both very, very good keyboards, and I'm happy with both purchases. Hopefully, this kind of helps you out as far as knowing the differences between them and uh, whether or not it's the keyboard for you. So let me know down below uh, if you have used both of these keyboards, if you're looking at getting one of these keyboards, and if you already do have one of these keyboards, if, uh, if this review is helpful for you. Um, I didn't go like deep, deep into the specs. You can look those up online, but this is just my sort of personal review and what I've noticed between the two. Um, they're both very good keyboards and you'll be happy with both of them. Trust me. 
But I'm curious, was this review helpful for you whatsoever? If it was, smash that like button. Dude, there's only three things that YouTubers can, that you can do on YouTube. How am I forgetting them? Thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe. I do appreciate it more than you know. Uh, also, if you do want to leave a comment, leave a comment down below. I generally do get, get back to uh, the individuals that do comment. Uh, if there's any questions or any sort of, uh, you know, critiquing, if you will. Um, but please let me know what you guys think. And also, don't forget, I do stream on Twitch. I do have, uh, you know, a little Twitch right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're interested, there's also a link to my Twitch channel down below. So if you want to come by in the live streams, come say hello. I appreciate it. A lot of you guys already have done that. You know, you come by and say, hey, I saw this video. It was awesome. Thank you. And you, you just say hello. And we have a grand old time. Also, if you, uh, if you play Fortnite, I do have a creator code. Creator code Calhoun, which is listed down below as well. So you get the proper spelling. It does give me a little bit of a kickback with no extra charge to you. As well as the affiliate links for Amazon down below. Those are the list of items that I do use. And if you do purchase any of those through the links that are down there, that helps me out slightly. It's really not much at all. However, it's no additional charge for you. So it's the same exact price. I get a little bit of a kickback. And uh, you know, it's a win-win situation. But anyways, dudes, I appreciate you for uh, taking the time to watch this video. And those of you that are still here to the end, props to you guys because you guys are the real MVPs. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know down below if there's any video ideas that you have for me. Um, I'll, I'll give them a whirl if uh, they seem in the realm of possibility. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys? Take it easy. I appreciate the support.